This is going to be a short tutorial of the Traverse Explorer. And the Traverse Explorer is the place in Traverse where you go to actually navigate your account data, look at the objects that you have, look at the relationships, and look at the privileges. So we're looking at the graph view in Explorer right now. And, and we've got this graph view available, and we can also switch back to the table view. You see the same information in the graph view as the table view, except in the graph view, you get to actually view the relationships. In larger accounts, the graph view is less useful when it's global, but we'll see it once we've selected an object and the graph view is still useful. We've got a lot of information here. The first thing you'll notice is that the colors and the shapes correspond to different role types and or object types. And so the yellow is going to be a user. This light brown, these are all roles. Dark blue is database, light blue is schema, and the diamonds for warehouses. Some other things you can do with the graph is, is hovering, and hovering does different things whether you hover over a node. If you hover over a node or an object, then it's going to show the objects that are related to, in this case, this role has privileges on these objects that are highlighted. So if I look at a database, it'll show me these are the schemas that are connected to it down below. The other thing to notice is if you hover over an edge, it will show you the actual privileges that are granted between those objects. So if I'm looking at this role right here and this schema, I can hover over the edge and it'll tell me the privileges that are then granted. So I can search in here to make it easier to navigate the graph and look for an object that I'm interested in. I'm gonna remove that search. And the other thing I can do is I can drill in. I can select an object. So I'm gonna choose a role. I'm gonna select this role right here. And now I'm gonna answer some questions about this role. So the first thing I wanna know is what roles are granted this role? And I can do that by clicking on the higher roles button. There's always two options. First of all is the immediate. This is, these are the roles that are immediately granted my selected role and that I can do inherited. And this is through the inheritance hierarchy what roles are granted this role. I can do the same things going down below. So what roles are granted to this role? And then recursively, what roles are granted? This is all the roles above and below in the inheritance hierarchy. You can see the whole tree. And we could also do the same thing for databases. So what databases is this? role granted directly. I'm going to turn off the, the roles in this case and then inherited through other roles, which doesn't help us that much. There happens to be another path that we can get to this database through other roles. And I'm going to show schemas as well. Now let's look at this database. The question I want to answer is what users have access to this database so I can go immediately one user and through the hierarchy there are many users that are available that can use this database uh, through the role hierarchy. Now to unselect this role, I click on X and go back to the global graph view. There is a back button here. You can undo any of the filters that we were at previously. We can get to by just hitting back. We can hit forward. And so this doesn't mess with your browser history. Uh, now the table view for a selected object. I'm going to go over to the table view. And every time we select something in the table view, it opens up in a new tab. So we've got the higher roles. I want to look at the lower roles. And all of this data is exportable as a CSV by clicking the download button, schemas, and finally warehouses. And that's the Traverse Explorer.